Yeah, man! Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you pancakes. I'm gonna show you tips and secrets. Alright, so you're gonna need three quarter cups of flour. I'm making half the amount, so I'm only gonna make four pancakes today. Three quarter cups of flour, half a teaspoon of sea salt couple grinds of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon or less, vanilla, half a teaspoon of vanilla, baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a 50 gram pack of baking powder, we're going to mix it with half cup of water. And you can use coconut, straight coconut milk or cow's milk. You're going to need a skillet or a frying pan. Or you can use a pizza tray. I did a um, pancake wheat on the pizza tray so visit jamaicadinners.com and look for that video alright I forgot an egg an egg you're definitely gonna need one egg alright so let me start by first measuring all right this scoops measures quarter cup so I'm gonna need three quarter cups of flour all-purpose flour so measure three quarter cup flour all-purpose flour baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure when you have it, it's leveled to the spoon edges or the spoon's edge. Make sure when you have the baking powder, it's leveled to the spoon's edge. Baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and make sure it's leveled to the spoon's edge. Baking powder, baking soda tend to be tend sometimes be sometimes are lumpy, so you just use your finger and kind of smudge it out. Make sure it's smooth. So use your finger and kind of crush it out or use your finger and kind of smooth it out all right sugar granulated sugar one tablespoon of granulated sugar I forgot to say all right so measure your sugar Salt, half a teaspoon of salt, sea salt preferably, and copper grinds of nutmeg. 
you can use like less than a quarter teaspoon or you can use like a pinch of cinnamon powder and it's optional you don't have to use any nutmeg all right once you add all the dried ingredients you just stir it in properly now we're gonna combine the wet ingredients all right so get half cup of water remember now you can use half cup of coconut milk straight or you can use cow's milk this is a 50 pack 50 pack grams a 50 grams pack of coconut powder so being that I'm only making half the amount I'm gonna throw out half the amount of coconut milk powder so I'm using 25 grams egg oftentimes you can spin the egg if it stays one place and spins that is good if you merge it in the water and it floats no and it sinks that's good when you crack it before you break it break it you can smell it with your nose see if it's good that's another way and another way you break an egg in a container separate if it's good you'll know if it's bad you'll know and then you um, throw it in the in your liquid mixture stir in the liquid mixture properly you know what the, the mixture remind me of um, butter buttermilk buttermilk look like buttermilk it looks like buttermilk all right now vanilla extract Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I don't know, okay, quarter, you know. quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, I'm gonna check. All right, so you just add the vanilla extract, stir it in. Make sure it's stirred properly. And stir it in properly. Okay, if you have a mixer, you can use a mixer. That would probably make the pancake batter very smooth. But if you don't, you can use a wooden spoon as you see me do. As you see me about to do. As you see me doing. So once you add liquid mixture to the dried ingredients, sis, to the dried ingredients stir in properly all right so you just use open the spoon get get make sure that all the dried ingredients is mixed in properly the dried ingredients is mixed in properly and just stir it properly this is how thick you want it to be all right all right so now you put to heat a skillet or a frying pot or pan a big one 
Tell me myself, 14 inch, this look like. Oh, it's 12 inch pot. All right, all right. Make sure the stove's gauge, flames gauge, is on low, almost off low. You gotta, if you have one of those stove where it's low and off, you gauge it between low and off, where you can turn it down a little bit lower than the low that's on the stove. I often say very low. Alright, so after about 30 seconds to a minute, I should have, I did it, but I would recommend that you wait at least three to four minutes and allow the, the pot to get hot. Just allow it to get hot. You'll get a better pancake that way. You're going to see why. Alright, so get a spoon that scoops. This spoon here holds holds quarter cup. So, quarter cup. Just take a scoop, a quarter cup scoop of the pancake batter and then just pour it in the middle of the baking of your frying pan or a skillet and just allow, allow on one side. Alright, after four minutes, use a spatula and just get underneath and work, get underneath by first using the edge of the spatula and kind of work under the edges under the edge of the pancake all right this is the first pancake we didn't use oil nor butter it's gonna be difficult with the first one but everyone after this one is gonna be easier to to handle all right so for between five minutes, you just flip the pancake on the other side. Alright, so after a minute, you just center it in the middle of the frying pan. After two minutes in all, let's look at it. I'm just going to let it stay on the other side for about a minute or two. Alright, so once the pancake is cooked properly remove it so this took eight between ten minutes this first one all right so if your pot is um, you know, full of crumbs like this just use a paper towel and clean it out don't wash it in and just use a paper towel and clean it clean out the excess crumbs all right Gosh. now next Take a quarter cup scoop of pancake batter and pour it in the center of your frying pan. Or oh yes, you can use one of those skillets that's flat, that's specifically made for pancakes. And they have some electrical um, pancake makers too. You can use those, just keep it on low. Keep the, the, the heat on low. Alright, you see if you slow cook the pancakes you'll get nice pancakes. Once a pancake starts lifting off the pot that's a sign to say it's almost ready to flip. Alright, after two between three minutes you see the pot now is hot, is hot effectively. It's hot to the right temperature now that you can bake all right, look at the color of this pancake. And this was three, three minutes, you know, going to four minutes. On that side, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna allow it to stay on this side. But right, after two minutes, this is what it looks like. All right, so you just remove it. If there's any crumbs in the pot like excess you just remove it take a quarter cup scoop of pancakes of pancake batter and pour it in the middle of the frying pan or a skillet don't worry if you made a little a little you know 
if you didn't make that perfect circle I'm going to show you what I, what I can do I'm going to show you what to do if you, if you made a mistake after two minutes and it's set just use your spatula and just cut cut off the little piece from the circle and remove it you see if you had tried to move it when it was wet it would stain the pot and create a mess so you just allow it to cook for two minutes and All then right. remove it alright in low enough you gotta watch it if it's, if it's cooking too slow you just turn it up a little bit if it's cooking too fast you just turn it down a little bit but the, the main objective right, is to so stay within the very low and to if you're not sure if it's ready you just use your spatula and just barely lift it and look if it's cooked and have the color right, that you like after, you five, after four between five minutes four minutes we just looked at it and we liked how it looked so that was four between five minutes once it fall you know once you flip it and wherever it fell you gotta let it stay the Americans like to say wherever it falls but I like to say it's wherever it fell and you just let it stay and once the heat get it you can move it a couple seconds after alright so that's allow all right, the pancake now. Make sure the pancake is right in the center of the heat. Sometimes your pot move, move on the on the on the stove top, and it's not over in the center of the heat. So just make sure the pancake is centered in the heat of the pot, where the flame is hitting the pot. See, that one is a little bit lighter, and it's the one I did before is a little bit darker. So what I did is turn the stove down a little bit. Alright, it's been two minutes since we flipped it. And that's what it looks like. I'm just going to let it stay one more minute on that side. So I would say the average time for each side, for the first side is five minutes and the second side is around three minutes. So that's the average time for the pancakes. Alright, so we're going to continue. This is the last one. So you just use a... You know what? I should have used my spatula. My plastic spatula with a plastic end. It would have got all this dough out. Pop it out in the center of your frying pan. This is nothing special. I'm just playing around. But that's what you would have done with the first pancake to kind of work around the edges. Make sure it's up and then you use a spatula to flip it. And then you use a spatula to get underneath the pancake. Alright, after four minutes. You can look underneath it, see if it's if it's cooking. You just use your spatula and flip it alright three between four minutes just look at your pancake see where it's going see how it's cooking and you remove it from the pot turn the stove off finish and before I forget remember now this this I'm just making half the amount so if you want eight pancakes just double the ingredients Alright, so this is homemade pancakes, fluffy and soft and delicious. Alright, so this is a pancake. I'm just cutting out a slice so that when I pour my maple syrup or pancake syrup, on top you'll see that pancake syrup run down in and between the pancakes guys get good maple syrup 
because plenty of these maple syrup is not really maple syrup they are corn syrup mixed and sweetened if you read the label you'll see what it is if you can afford it or it's available in your region get real maple syrup because on the pancake wheat I did say it was juicy or pure maple syrup but after I read the label I was like what this, this is not even maple syrup it's corn syrup and, and a lot of different stuff they had to get that what you're looking at right now syrup but maple syrup is what you need to pour on the pancakes for arth authentic for authentic traditional pancake syrup all right pancakes homemade all right so that's the pancakes it's tender soft and tastes just like a cake and like I said big up to the person that came up with the idea of pancakes the origin of pancakes I'm not so sure I probably have to do, go and do a research with I'm not which I'm not going to so whomsoever that originated pancakes pick up yourself respect to yourself because pancake is a good idea it tastes just like cake take some your scrambled eggs and if you add some sausage or bacon that would be good too if you want to see how I prepare sausage visit jamaicadinners.com look for sausage and so bacon alright so this is delicious sweet and nice pancakes are nice and the scrambled eggs are nice this is a typical breakfast that you'll get in most fast food restaurants in America that serves breakfast this is all made so it's better I'm not just saying so people it is it is nice whenever I make pancakes I make pancakes like this from the scratch I don't buy the ready mac the ready made ones and just add water and egg no I just make my own it's very easy you saw me do it in front of your eyes you can try it for yourself the only thing I wish I had here that would make it more more interesting is the sausage or bacon or ham some fried ham would be good too all right so I'm showing you the pancakes you saw how they are fluffy just visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe you see how they are, they are fluffy soft and tender it's not dry alright nutmeg can I mix it can I give it a unique flavor like I said it's optional and you don't have to use it but I'll recommend that you can try it it's nice makes a pancake have the real nice cake taste and if you don't have access to nutmeg you can use as a pinch or less than quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder Cinnamon powder came from the same nutmeg tree. Nutmeg is just all right. If my memory serves me right, I think it's the bark of the cinnamon tree that they use, they dry or whatever, and make cinnamon powder. And the nutmeg now is a fruit from the cinnamon tree. It's poisonous when it's fresh. So you gotta allow it to dry, dry properly to make it edible. A lot of people don't know that but it's poisonous if when it's when it's fresh you gotta allow it to dry properly before it's able to use 
Alright guys, see you. Bye, enjoy. Whomsoever came up with the pancake idea, I don't know how far the history goes, but I'm here in my modern time thanks to you, whosoever that discovered and made the pancakes. Kudos to you. You came up with a great idea. The pancake tastes just like cake, like a little cake. And the name is so efficient. So, I'm using your idea. And I thank you. So, whomsoever came up with the idea of making pancakes, big up yourself. Respect to you. Kudos. Yeah, man!